Shalom. I'm gonna give a praise and glory to you, Halva Shem Halashab, Shem Halavadash. When double honor said, "Elders and apostles of great millstone, he told me the truth, and peace, blessing, and salutations to hope for let." And yeah, man. Um, I literally came across this video, and this is something that happened during the time of um of um a hardcore slavery, shall I say? <clears throat> And yeah, let me just um, play it, man. This is Karen and Sharon Sanders of Marksville, Louisiana. And this is Vincent Simmons. He was held in prison for nearly 45 years because twins Karen and Sharon Sanders claimed that he violently took advantage of them. On May 22nd, 1977, the twins alleged that they gave Vincent Simmons a ride along with their cousin. They said that Vincent pulled out a weapon and forced their cousin into the trunk. Then Vincent put the cousin in the trunk and drove them to a dead-end road where he violently took advantage of them. After this, Vincent set them free at a cemetery. Now, the twins said that they made a pact with their cousin that they would never tell anyone about this because they were afraid of Vincent. But when they were questioned by police... <laughs> you know what's crazy about this? We know, we know that the Edomites are known for their lies... And we know that um <clears throat> that during that around those times, if you was to say anything about one of the Tao tribes, these other Edomites, well the ones in charge of the men, they would happily go up and string up one of them ju just for false accusations. So for them to be talking about they made a pact. They made a pact not to say anything. You, you we already know that's lies. Especially because of the times that they're in back then. <clears throat> but, um, yeah. Let me go to... Boom. Psalm 68 and 3. Right, let me click on it. It says, The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born. Speaking lies. <laughs> and it says their poison is the poison of a serpent. They are like the death adder that stoppeth her. Yeah. So yeah, man. These Edomites are, are, are known for their lies, man. <clears throat> and you know what? Let me get some more examples. Yeah, second Thessalonians 2 and 8, it says, And then shall the wicked be revealed. And to find out who the wicked are, you'd, all you have to do is go to Malachi 1 and literally read from verse 1 all the way up to 4. <clears throat> and it tells you that Esau Edom is the border of wickedness. <clears throat> and it says, And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, being the prophets, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Yeah, when he um, makes his return, he's physically going to destroy them with fire. Or should I say, with concentrated fire. Or you could say, um, those laser beams. And it says, even him who's coming is after the working of Satan. With all power and signs and lying wonders. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish. Because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. So you see... Another example of how the wicked are none but liars and deceivers, man. And I can get another one. Psalms 50 and 16. It says, But unto the wicked God saith, What hast thou to do to declare my statutes, or that thou shouldst take my cover in thy mouth? And another thing with, um, in those times, <clears throat> in the times of those twins, Literally, well, literally, they would, um, you don't force the Christianity on the, upon Jake, man. And you'd have to, you'd have to bow down to Cesare Borgia. <clears throat> Especially during, um, in the, what's it called, man? Those slave houses, or the, I, I don't know what's called, but, um, the places where, um, there would, there would be this massive house, the master would live in there. He would have his little slaves 
walking around the house doing doing their jobs and they'd have the slaves out on the field <clears throat> yeah even then they they would um basically every sunday teach from the slave bible to um to the jakes man and literally deceive them and, and lie to them <clears throat> so yeah and this also goes for amalek too man because they claim to be the people of the Lord, or the head tribe of um, <clears throat> of the twelve tribes of Israel, and it says, "Seeing thou hatest instruction of casting my words behind thee, because yeah, just like their forefather Cain, he knew the correct way to sacrifice, but he did not want to do it. Why? Because he was his his of the the wicked seed man, that wicked bloodline." <clears throat> And it says, when thou sowest a thief, then thou contendest with him, and hast been partaker with adulterers. Thou givest thy mouth to evil, thy tongue frameth deceit. Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother, thou standest thine own mother's son. And yeah, man, I literally came across another video. And literally, any foreigners that come to America and get their, their what's it called, um, their citizenship, or if they come... Of to come from a foreign country. Literally, this African this African woman was saying they were literally playing them videos about the so called Negroes, man. Literally. And telling and literally telling them how bad we are, how bad of a people we are, the things the things we do. And literally they were showing they were showing them that we're basically, um, what's the word? Evil, man. And we're, we're nothing but thieves and robbers and aggressive and killers. And that's another form of slander, man. <coughs> and yeah, man, that, that's, a, that's another video that I, I, I have as well. That's on my Facebook saves. So I'll probably do a video on that. Um, Lord's Willing. But yeah, let me just carry on with this. They lied and said they didn't know who he was and that all N-words look alike. You never gave the name Simmons. No, we did not. You never described what he looked like. No, we did not. You said all blacks look alike. And you said all N-words. That's right. Sure did. So even though the girls described this incident with Vincent Simmons as brutal and bloody, there was never any blood found in or around the car. So Vincent was arrested and charged with the crime. The girls and their cousin picked him out of a lineup. But new information has surfaced that Vincent was wearing handcuffs at the time of the lineup. So that would make him easy to identify. So in July of 1977, Vincent goes to trial. And the girls testified that he was the one that did this to them. Despite no physical evidence, he was... And that's another thing. Vincent Simmons was sentenced to 100 years despite no physical evidence. <clears throat> And that description's been mentioned, man. You know what? Let me get it. Second Hundred Eleven and Twenty Thirty Seven. It says, and "I beheld and lo, as it were, a roaring lion chase out of the wood, and I saw that he sent out of a man out a man's voice unto the eagle and said, <clears throat> Hear thou, I will talk with thee, and the highest shall say unto thee." Art not thou it that remainest of the four beasts whom I made to reign in my world, that the end of their that the end of their times might come through them, <clears throat> and this being um the pagan Roman Empire, man. Although this has already happened, it can still be used again because, like it makes mention in um I think it's Revelation, it talks about the deadly wound that was healed, which is the pagan Roman Empire coming back as the little horn. Which is America. <clears throat> and it says, And the fourth came and overcame all the beasts that were passed and had power over the world with great fearfulness and over the whole compass of the earth with, with much wicked oppression. And so long time dwelt he upon the earth with deceit. For the earth has thou not judged with truth. So there you go, man. The way these Elamites judge, it's, it, it's, it's not... um. It's not righteous judgment, man. And it says, For thou hast afflicted the meek, being the Israelites. Thou hast hurt the peaceable. Thou hast loved liars and destroyed the dwellings of them that brought forth fruit. 
and has cast, them, cast down the walls of such as did thee no harm. Therefore is thy wrongful dealing come up unto the highest, and thy pride unto the mighty. The highest also have looked upon the proud times, and behold, they are ended, and his abominations are fulfilled, and therefore appear no more thou eagle, nor thy horrible wings, nor thy wicked feathers, nor thy malicious heads, nor thy hurtful claws, nor all thy vain body. So yeah, no more Esau Edom, because it's going to be taken out of power, man. And they're going to be likened unto the other heathen. It's like, uh, I was interrupted, but um, carrying on. Yeah, that was making mention, no more Esau. He's going to be taken out of power. <clears throat> like I mentioned, his place wasn't found in heaven no more. Meaning, he wasn't in rulership anymore, man. <clears throat> and he's going to be like unto the other nations, which is literally being nothing, man. And it says that all the earth may be refreshed and may return, being delivered from thy violence, and that she may hope for the judgment and mercy of him that made her. And yeah, man, that violence being that war, man. Because you got to remember what he made mention of in Revelation 6, man. Revelation 6 <clears throat> and 4. This and there went out another horse that was red. <clears throat> the horse symbolizing power. And the red is symbolizing Esau Edom. And power was given to him that sat down to take peace from the earth. And that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. And that great sword is going to cause um the, the earth to be turned into a wilderness. As it makes mention in um, Isaiah 14. Isaiah 14 and... Yeah, let me start at 14. It says, I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell. Meaning down to the pit. Down to the pit. And basically being being brought low, man. <clears throat> and that's how it talks about their, their place was found no more in heaven. Because they were taken out of rulership, man. And it says, um, yeah. They that see thee shall now they look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble? That did shake kingdoms? That made the world as a wilderness? And he was able to make the world as a wilderness. <clears throat> By way of that great sword, man, those intercontinental ballistic missiles, and destroyed the cities thereof, that opened not the house of his prisoners. And this is exactly what these missiles do, man. And we know this is talking about the the, the missiles. Joel 2 and 3, he says, A fire devoured before them, and behind them a flame burneth, meaning the fire that issues out of the mouth of the nuclear warheads. And the flame that burns from behind is the fire that comes out which causes the missile to fly. And it says the land is as the garden of Eden before them, so signs of life and inhabitants, and behind them a desolate wilderness, yea, and nothing shall escape them. And that's how the Bible was made into a wilderness, as it made mention in Isaiah 14, man. So these missiles are going to leave, leave um, the world as a wilderness, <clears throat> being that great sword, man. Isaiah 14, and 17, it says, that made the world as a wilderness and destroyed the cities thereof, that opened not the house of his prisoners. And that, and that was by way of Esau Edom, man. So Esau Edom is going to be taken out of power. He was convicted of those two grapes and he was sentenced to 100 years. So Vincent has been up for parole 16 times in which it was denied. And at one parole hearing, he presented evidence that was withheld from the defense at trial that showed that the girls were never assaulted. They were actually virgins. Coroner said you were a virgin, that the coroner said there was no evidence of sexual assault found on either one of you. Okay, well, they didn't know that. well it's two weeks later and it's still not important. Oh, well, there was no evidence that an assault occurred and I don't think high- Yeah, it's still not important. So to these, to these devils, these deceivers, they can just go around and lie and literally mass up Jake's life by by way of their lies and, and, and they don't care. And literally this is this is basically 
<clears throat> another lesson about the nations hate us, man. Because more 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 will do that too. The the Amorites being Chinese and the Japanese, the Chinese being Moab. Yeah, the Chinese and Japanese, these Hamites, these Ishmaelites, or the the so called Arabs, they would they would be quick to throw you under the bus as well, man. <clears throat> regrow but I digress and although the parole board as well as the Louisiana court system was presented with this evidence that was hidden his parole was repeatedly denied the twins were actively participating in the parole hearings to keep Vincent in prison so a few years ago Vincent got another attorney and they presented their evidence to the district attorney the district attorney offered to free Vincent but he would have to register as a sex offender Vincent refused these conditions because he says he did not do this. So finally, three days before his birthday, which is actually today, Vincent Simmons was freed from Angola after the judge ordered a new trial and the DA decided not to retry him. His twins, I declare what a disgrace, but happy birthday to Vincent. After 44 years, he is finally free. Wow. So he spent 44 years in prison. And they let him out. <laughs> That's his whole life gone, basically. His youth gone because of a lie from two she the my devils. Wow. Oh man. But like the scriptures say, man. Actually, you know what? Let me get this. Market to and tennis is arise, ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, even with a sore destruction. And yeah, man, the reason why we were scattered all over the earth wasn't for us to to prosper, it wasn't for us to basically be like unto the heathen and, and do what they're doing. <clears throat> it was for a punishment, man. And after this punishment is up, and guess what? In comes the kingdom of our Lord, man, Yahweh Shai. Or should I say Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai? <coughs> and yeah, and that's when we'll finally have rest, man. That's when we'll finally have rest. And then let me also get this. And you see, you know, let me read from 29 to 33. You know, actually, let me carry on. Yeah. Deuteronomy 28 and 29, it says, And thou shalt grow up at noon day, as the blind grow up within darkness, and thou shalt not prosper in thy ways, and thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled evermore, and no man shall save thee. Yeah, because literally, that's the, the Lord Yahweh Shema Hashem's job. Hence why one of his titles is um, the Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Ah, there we go. You see, Isaiah 41 and 14, it says, Fear not thou worm, Jacob, and a worm is a defenseless insect. What can a worm do to defend itself? Nothing. And it says, And ye men of Israel, I will help thee serve the Lord, Yahweh, Hashem, Shai, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. So you see, the Lord is the Redeemer, and he's the one who's going to save us, man. And just like it makes mention in um, Deuteronomy 28 and 68, it says, no man shall buy you. If you look into that word buy, it goes into redeem. So no man shall redeem you, except for who? The Holy One of Israel, the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim Shai, our Redeemer, man. That, that's who's going to redeem us from our captivity. Not these other nations, not these, um, these Pan-African bl black people. Coming around with the religions talking about, oh, we gotta rise up against Esau, Edom. Nah, we ain't gotta do nothing except prophesy and do the work of the Lord Yahweh Shem Hashai. That's it. 
the Lord's gonna do the rest. As the scriptures may mention, man, it says, um, wait, let me quickly get it. I know it's in Jeremiah. Yeah. And you see the glory is gonna go to your house, Bashim Haushai, man. Not to not to some some nigga on the block talking about oh we gotta get guns, we gotta do this, we gotta do that. We gotta be like the Black Panthers. Nah man. Nah. It's the Lord Yahweh Bashim Haushai that's gonna deliver us. Jeremiah 16 and 14 it says, Therefore behold the days come, saith the Lord Yahweh that I will shall no more it shall no more be said, the Lord Yahweh liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt, but the Lord Yahweh liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north and from all the lands wherever he had driven them, and I will bring them again into their land that I gave unto their fathers. And it says, Behold, I will send for many fishers, being the prophets, being the fishers of men. Serve the Lord Yahweh, and they shall fish them. And after that, I will send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. And yeah, man, and that's when <laughs> the house of David turn up. And they'll be as gods in that day, man. They'll be as powers, man. <clears throat> and, that, and that's coming, man. Hey, what was it again? Now let me go back to um, the curses. Yeah, Deuteronomy 28 and 30 says, Thou shalt betroth a wife, and another man shall lie with her. Thou shalt build a house, and thou shalt not dwell therein. Thou shalt plant a vineyard, and shalt not gather the grapes thereof. So yeah, man, we, we, we were made as... um. Slaves, man. Literally, just like I made mention, um, where they would have the 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 big house that the slave master dwells, sits in or dwells in, and you got the field where the slave would be working outside, and um, literally he could just come and take your wife, and literally and lie with her and impregnate her, and then guess what? That child that he made, he, he's going he's going to be a, a slave too. Despite it's his um his light complexion, <laughs> he's he's still gonna be a slave, even though it's an Edomite. And yeah, man, just like building a house, like Jake well, Jake doesn't receive credit for anything, man. Jake doesn't receive credit for anything, <laughs> and literally in the Amos chapter nine, it talks about how we're going to build and someone else shouldn't inhabit, man. And we're going to plant vineyards and we're going to gather the grapes. And that's that's when that's gonna be the, in the time of um the Lord's kingdom, man. When we're going to have servants and handmaids, these heathen, man. And it says that thine ox shall be slain before thine eyes, and thou shalt not eat thereof, thine ass shall be violently taken away from before thy face, and shall not be restored to thee. Thy sheep shall be given unto thine enemies, and thou shalt have no to slack you, and thou shalt have none to rescue them. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given up unto another people, and thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long, and there shall be no might in thine hand. And yeah, man, we, we, we already know what that means. They'll literally take the, take children from Jake, man, and then sell them, in, sell them off to a, another person, to some faraway land, and you'll never see them again. I, I, imagine, man, imagine the pain from from the wife and the, uh, and literally um the husband man or should I say the mum and dad or it's like yeah, the dad and mum because <clears throat> you know the the man's the head imagine the pain that that to go through man seeing your children getting taken away and sold off that's crazy man and even though it, even though it's, it sounds crazy like it's a part of the curses man. And this is why we should do what the Lord said, man. <clears throat> and I'm glad this is the this is the last one. This is this is the last captivity. And we don't have to go through this anymore, man. But um Yeah, I think I've made my point. But yeah, I wanna um 
Give a praise and glory to Yahweh Hashem Hashem and Shalom.